since you cover the sport and you're right there with the team uh, on a regular basis, can, can you give us an idea of, of the approach to the coverage, uh, what you're looking for, what storylines really resonate, uh, what, what the approach of the team is in, in covering Miami football? I feel like ever since last season, the news have, has kind of come to me. To be honest, I haven't had to look that hard when it comes to Miami football and covering it because you name it, between Mark Richt and Brad Kaya's last year, him leaving for the draft, this whole thing about finding the new quarterback. Um, we talked about prior to about, you know, Nikosi Perry coming in, supposedly the future of Miami football. A lot of people presume um, you have guys like Evan Sheriffs, you know, who was a guy who was on the practice squad, actually redshirted, then was on the practice squad. He came out of nowhere. He was right in line to, to compete for the position. Ultimately, Malik Rozier, uh, who has been with the team for a couple years, backing up Brad Kyle, won the position. So that right there, the quarterback battle was huge to cover. It was we, we got a lot of stories out of that just because of, you know, everyone wants to know who's the quarterback, who's the quarterback come week one. And this past week, you know, having – Rick actually said he's the guy. He actually said he wasn't – he didn't stand – he stood out the most, but it, he said it wasn't by a, a huge size margin. So it was clear that it was a close race, especially with him and Evan, Evan Sheriff. So he won it, though, and, he, and by one way or another, coaches say it was consistency. Coaches say it was just, you know, having – the most consistent guy day in and day out and, and they felt he was the best guy to go into week one so that was big news i mean right there um we had to cover who was going to be the guy you know so going to going to fall practice you know going to training camp they've been at it for four weeks now and kind of seeing the numbers scrimmages you know rogers had the best numbers you know kind of covering that and, and seeing who's putting up the tds who's putting up the most ints and i mean that's just that's just right in front of you you know that's the news right in front of you and then I mean, with everything else, when it comes to the defense, you know, all new secondary pretty much, except for, I believe, um, Jackson is the only one that is a returning starting corner. Everyone else is, is new at, at, at the starting position, that secondary. Um, so that's big news. Like we talked about before, the depth at receivers, big news, the, the speed of some of these young guys. So these are just things that go on in my mind and go on in my writer's mind as a staff, as a sports staff, to be like, how do we cover this team? Like, what's interesting? And with Miami football – like I named a few, there's just so many stories that just pop out at you. So it really doesn't become so hard to find the story. It just, it's almost fun to, to, to know what it is and then go out and, and see what these uh, coaches and players have to say about it. Isaiah Kim Martinez is the sports editor for the Miami Hurricane. It is the student and newspaper and website for Miami football. Uh, since you bring up the quarterback competition, anytime that there's a five-star stud that's recruited and signed by any football program, there's so much hype that comes and anticipation of that uh, particular player coming onto the scene and immediately becoming a star. It's magnified and emphasized at the quarterback position. So was there a bit of a letdown, do you think, from the fan base knowing that Malik Rozier won the job, even if he was the right selection and the right person because there was just so much hype surrounding Perry and wanting him to take the job and, and use that dynamic playmaking ability from week one on? I felt that a little bit, definitely. From people I talked to, most felt like Rozier was the safer pick, um, the smart pick, but not so much the high ceiling future pick. Um, but this Miami football team with their defense, especially coming in at, at one of the best in the ACC, is too good to have you know, it all crumble down because the quarterback is not ready for the pressure. And they believe Rozier was the most experienced for that. But no doubt with a guy like Perry coming in, everyone was excited about him. At least all the sports fans were like, oh, I can't wait to see, especially him being a true dual threat. There was one play that was trending on Twitter of him in the pocket and being able to shake a couple guys, you know, very Michael Vick light, if you will, you know, trying to shake a few guys and running for 10 yards in the first down. I mean, people are excited for that. You know, they want that now. What they don't understand is that, you know, he has the talent. He's been called raw. Obviously he's a freshman coming into college. Very few freshmen are ready for that moment right away. He had some struggles and scrimmages um, through some interceptions. Granted it was against the first team defense that he was playing against. So you kind of expect that type of thing. Um, but he, he, he needs to get adjusted, you know, as a freshman, I think as a fan base, it's hard to accept at first cause you want to see this guy, but I do think that they will see him sooner than later. And once he does develop, um, whether that be later on this year, whether it be in his sophomore year, um, they're going to be happy. They waited because this guy's going to, when he gets the chance to, to practice and get better and get more experience, he's going to be something special in the future. 
Yeah, and I think people need to understand that if you're at, uh, let's say, Virginia or Duke, a program that's going to win three to six football games this year, that maybe as long as the hotshot quarterback uh, has a reasonable grasp of the offense, you throw them out there. If you think you're not going to be able to win big, then you get him his reps in and you get something started for the future. But this is the best roster in the division. Uh, it's decidedly the best uh, with Virginia Tech losing to Rod Evans and the wide receiver core that they had with North Carolina coming back uh, after all the explosive firepower that moved on to the NFL for them. And you know that the landscape of the division, Georgia Tech's a, a solid program, but doesn't match up exactly. athletically with this program. It's the best program. So the safe pick will most likely get you when to you the division. championship exactly. game if everything else plays out. And maybe Nikosi Perry does wrestle away the job at some point uh, mid-season, late season, or get some meaningful reps. Uh, we'll see how things play out uh, depending on uh, uh, the, the outcomes of the games and also the uh, play of Rozier.